Hi there. A few weeks ago I made a video about mining and how it's a money making method that can't die. And then the admins killed it. Or well, tried to at least. The funniest part is that even after all of this, mining is still probably the most broken money making method in the game and is now way cheaper to get into than it used to be. In this video we'll be going over everything, from gear to how you should spec your heart of the mountain and even where to mine for each stage of the game. Is what I would have said, but this video ended up being way too long. So I'm gonna split it into two parts. In this part we'll be mainly going over gear. But before we get to actually good money making setups, we gotta start at the beginning. First you'll need a pickaxe. If you've literally just begun and don't have anything, a diamond pickaxe will be fine. But as soon as you reach the dwarven mines, you should buy a mithril pickaxe from this gentleman over here. There's a few different ones to choose from, so buy one in your own price range. For armor you've got two options. Goblin, Dizna, and Glaeshite. Basically, if you have enough money for Glaeshite, get Glaeshite, and if you don't, get Goblin. Glaeshite is way better because you can apply both Jade and Ember gems to it. Don't know what gems do? They're basically little stat boosts you can apply to your gear. You can see which you can apply to which at the Gemstone Grinders item guide. Once you apply them to your gear, you'll see the boost they give in pink text. Now as for pets, by far the best choice is to subscribe to Powliner Pet. It's practically free as well, all you gotta do is click the button. Also, liking the video and commenting something makes me very happy. Also, we're hosting a pretty big giveaway in our Discord right now, so go, join that, link in the description. Anyways, a good and pretty cheap choice for the Dwarven Mines is the Epic Mithril Golem Pet. It's really good for getting as much Mithril Powder as possible, which, trust me, you will need a lot of. Alternatively, you can use a Silverfish, but that won't really help you too much. Now I won't go too in depth into mechanics, but basically in the Dwarven Mines there are these things called commissions, which are little quests you do. Once you complete them you get rewards including Heart of the Mountain XP, used to level your Heart of the Mountain. The Heart of the Mountain is a skill tree which you unlock perks in, and I can't stress this enough, is extremely important. You should do at least 4 commissions per day, because the first 4 you do give a lot of Heart of the Mountain XP. If you're wondering how you should spec your Heart of the Mountain tree, I'll talk about that in part 2, which will be released in a few days. Ok, moving on to better gear now. These titanium pickaxes are cool and all, but you'll quickly realize that drills are where it's at. The cheapest drill is the Mirful Drill SXR226. I am never saying that again. The 226 is alright, nothing special, but it's pretty decent for its price. If you've got a few more coins you might be thinking about purchasing its upgrade, the 326. But let me stop you right there. You see how much this costs? And then you see how much this costs? Yeah, it's basically the same, and it's way better. Like, not even close. The breaking power is especially nice, you'll see why soon. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that if you've got a few more coins, go for the 355 titanium drill. In terms of armor, you've got a straight up upgrade over Glaeshite in Flamebreaker. It even gives 40 mining fortune, which is way more important than mining speed. But you can actually upgrade Flamebreaker into a set called Yogg Armor. Now you might be thinking, what the heck, it doesn't even give any mining stats. This isn't an upgrade at all. However, it has this full set bonus, which gives you 1 mining speed for every 10 yog skilled while wearing it, for a max of 500 extra mining speed. Whether you actually want to go through the pain of killing 5000 yogs to max it out is up to you, but the really good part about the set is the universal gem slot it comes with. This is the cheapest armor that can fit Topaz gemstones, which are essential in making any kind of money mining gems, because they give you pristine. I'm not gonna explain what exactly pristine is, but basically it's the entire reason why mining is so profitable. Now you might be wondering what the heck are yogs? You won't find these in the dwarven mines, you'll find them in the crystal hollows. And I can't possibly explain everything there is to explain about it in this video, because it would literally take one hour. Anyways, in these crystal hollows you will find gems, and they're a lot tougher to break than mithril or even titanium. My advice is not to come here if you don't have a tool with breaking power of at least 7. Also, if you have a drill, a fuel tank is pretty useful while you're in here. Otherwise you'll have to exit the lobby if you run out of fuel. Now before we were talking about the 355 titanium drill, and while it is a great all purpose drill for its price, if you want something strictly for gems, the ruby drill is a much better choice. Same breaking power, but higher mining speed and fortune on gems. Oh yeah, and it's really cheap. If you want to be able to mine everything relevant, you can even go for its upgrade as it isn't that expensive either. The only other option for high enough breaking power is the piconimbus. This thing costs next to nothing, has an incredible amount of mining speed and no requirements to use but it breaks after 5000 uses. Now 5000 uses is actually way more than it might seem at first, and you can always repair it. Overall, pick on Nimbus Goog. Decide on what you want to use yourself, but I personally recommend the gemstone drill so that you can do every crystal hollows commission. 
As for pets, there's nothing really new. In fact, there isn't much new you can do until you hit Heart of the Mountain 6, which takes quite a bit of grinding. The reason you need Heart of the Mountain 6 is because that's when you'll be able to use the most broken tool for its price ever, the Gemstone Gauntlet. This thing barely costs over 20 million and has better stats than the 555 Titanium Drill, which currently costs over 150 million. Once you get the gauntlet, you can finally make mining into a pretty solid money making method. But wait, when you're buying one, don't just buy a clean one. Look for ones with the pristine enchant on it specifically. The higher the better, but it depends on your budget in the end. Although I don't recommend chipping out on it if you plan to mine a lot. Also, put in at least fine gems, but I also recommend spending a few more coins for the flawless topaz. If you want to mine gems, all the previous armor sets except Yogg won't do. You need as much pristine as possible. A very big upgrade over Yogg is the Sorrow Armor, but as much of an upgrade as it is, it's also a big upgrade in price. Although trust me, you'll make the money you spend on it back rather quickly if you choose to do so. One thing you must watch out for is if the Sorrow Armor you're purchasing has open slots or not. If it doesn't, it'll cost you a lot of coins buying the fine gems needed to unlock the universal slot. Just like with the Gauntlet, I recommend upgrading to Flawless Top as over fine as soon as you can, as the pristine boost really makes a difference. As for pets, we have the undisputed best gem mining pet in the game, Bob. You gotta get the legendary one though, epic won't do. While it does cost quite a lot, it is nothing short of incredible. It boosts all your stats by 15% while in the magma fields. Coincidentally, the magma fields just so happens to be the best place to mine gems. A 15% stat boost means it boosts everything, including mining speed, fortune and of course pristine. If you're wondering how to make your own little mining area in the magma fields, I'll also talk about that in part 2. Anyways, the gemstone gauntlet as sorrow armor with a legendary ball is what I'd call the first truly good mining setup in the game. Once you have this kind of gear, I strongly recommend going for Heart of the Mountain 7 as quickly as possible, because the perks you unlock there are just completely broken. With this setup, I make around 7 million coins per hour at these topaz prices. The next step in progression would be switching over to a 655 titanium drill, as it is just better than a gemstone gauntlet. But the thing is, it also costs like 20 times as much. So the choice is yours. After that, there's only the Divan's Drill. But you won't be making your money back on that one unless you mine for way too long. As for armor, the undisputed best mining armor is the Armor of Divan. And well, obviously it's really good. The price is a lot higher than Sorrow. But there is a big difference between the two. Especially if you get one with the Jaded Reforge. The thing about the Armor of Divan though, is that the armor itself is only around a third of the cost. You see, each piece has 5 unlockable slots, 2 Amber, 2 Jade and 1 Topaz. But to unlock each slot you will need a Gemstone Chamber and these don't come cheap. You can choose which to unlock if you do it in the Gemstone Grinder though, so you can prioritize Topaz and Jade over Amber, but still, it's very expensive. Oh yeah, and you'll probably want to upgrade to Perfect Topaz and Flawless Jade at this point, so even more coins. As for pets, Legendary Ball remains king, but there is another mining pet called the Skeda. Now the Skeda is incredibly expensive, and incredibly useless. Its perks aren't bad, but they aren't nearly as impactful as Ball's. So yeah, big L for the Skeda. With Ball, Armor of Divan and a 655 Drill, I make around 25 million coins per hour. Again, at the same gemstone prices. That's basically all you need to know about gear. I didn't mention stuff like requirements for specific items, but rather put them on screen next to the setups. In part 2 I'll cover everything else, but it'll mainly be centered around Heart of the Mountain and how you should spec it. Bye now!